Dr. Abdullahi Iganduja led National Working Committee of the ruling All Progressive Congress on Tuesday, summoned Senator Alim Dume to explain his recent utterances against President Bola Tinibu, which led to the former's removal as Senate Whip. Speaking after the meeting, Dr. Ganduje said the party was satisfied with Ndume's apology and would convey the same to the leadership of the Senate with a view to having it review its position. Ndume was removed after the National Working Committee wrote Goswell Ababio led Senate, complaining of the Bronu Senator's utterances against Tinibu. On his part, Ndume conceded that rather than raising some issues on national television, he should have complained to the party leadership. Let me start with you, Honorable Lan. What is your take on this story? <laughs> well, wow. Very interesting. And absolutely. now, I, I want you to also marry it with the timing. Yeah. The absolutely. timing. Yeah, yeah. Um, first of all, uh, it tells you that uh, we have been justified by what we've always continued to advocate on national TV every day. You know, before Alin Dume came out publicly, Alin Dume has been a part of the APC from its foundation as an issue. Mm. And uh, Alin Dume was one of the same members of the APC in the 10th Assembly that was made uh, the Senate chief whip. But uh, Alin Dume found out because of what we observed that has been happening within the presidency that. Uh, uh, the federal government, especially the president, have continued to, you know, see how they, he can be able to clamp down on some of these northern uh, big weeks, you know, who continue to see themselves as lords over others. And uh, these things skyrocketed to where we are today. But before then, Alin Dume came up publicly to tell Mr. President, it seems that you have been caged. And he made all sorts of yeah. statements. And uh, the party immediately reacted, and the reaction was for him to be suspended. Mm. But I think that uh, uh, if you ask me, uh, my personal take on this particular issue mm -hmm. is not just the meeting of uh, Senator Lindume and uh, APC. The, the APC. I think my take is the particular position of our National Assembly, because it is glaring. As a matter of fact, it's very, very visible to the blind and very loud to the deaf that our National Assembly has become uh, uh, an agent of government that any political party or a ruling party can go ahead, whisk them however they will. Because constitutionally, when someone you know, flags the, uh, the, the, the flag of a political party and assumes office, first of all, the person is... Uh, a representative of that locality before they become a member of that political party. Which means their first priority ought to be the people, not the political party. But if you look at the statement made by both Senator Lindume after the bromance of the meeting, you see that uh, Senator Lindume and the, the APC National Working Committee chairman said that the party now has become the father of the nation. He said that uh, Ganduje. He said Ganduje, Ganduje is his father. He said Ganduje is his father. Mm -hmm. Now, in other words, that the party now is supreme, and the party is above the interest of the collective Nigerians. But my, I think that uh, I will give him kudos for not taking back his words, saying that not minding that he apologized for the he way and means. You know, in the parliament, we we'll call it ways and means. Mm. Not upload, not you know, going by the right way by channeling the the the, the, the grievances to the party because he also knew that maybe if he had gone through the party executive, maybe you know, maybe the president might have not had. But because he has flouted the original you know uh, way and means by which the party you know constitution has directed, and that's the reason why it happened. But I think that first of all, I want to give kudos uh, to. Uh, the national chairman for deeming it necessary yes for deeming it necessary you know to first of all seek redress because this is what they were supposed to do before even engaging 
you know, in, in you forming know, the National Assembly for... The, the National Chairman seeking redress, you will recall, what was the statement Alindume made in the first place? Alindume expressed displeasure at his inability to see the president and said One. that the president is unaware of the state of the, the nation. nation. Two. And this was prior to the protest. And he also said that the handlers of the, of the president are kleptocrats and they have also stopped him from certain persons him especially from having access to the president probably it, 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 it now that everything is playing out because now we are looking at the timing absolutely. of the apc because the first reaction of apc was not to give him a fair hearing absolutely they didn't give him fair hearing absolutely they wrote to the senate and for his for immediate his removal as this, and even told him that he can go to another party he should leave the party now suddenly <laughs> the APC summons him now to give him fair hearing after punishment, right? And then they called it family meeting. One would wonder, what was, what was the information Aline Dumi so desperately wanted to give the president that he didn't have access to give him? Now, in the face of the crisis now going on in the north, the way this protest is going and, you know, the suspicions around possible hijack and call for a regime change in the north, why is APC suddenly wanting Alin Dume? Because he has been silent. Yes. That, that would be the concern. But let me hear from George. Okay. What George thinks. George, very interesting development, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Um, I must say that I'm quite happy when I saw the news that... Um, the party have made up with uh, Senator Alain Dume, mm -hmm. who is one of the you know, oldest politicians, one of the oldest senators in that house, mm -hmm. in that chamber rather. So and as a high-ranking member of the party, it is important that the party make up their differences and move yes. forward as one. So kudos to the national chairman who conveyed that meeting. And also kudos to Senator Alain Dume, who also saw the need to apologize to close rank and move forward. But I must tell you, the reason why the party acted the way they acted, in my own view, is simple. The party is the will through which all the politicians aspire to become who they were. If the party was not in existence, Senator Alain Demi wouldn't have been a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Mm. That is why I've also been advocating for provision in the Constitution for um, what they call it, um, uh, independent candidacy where if you're popular in your locality without having you know without needing to go through all the parties and their shenanigans you appear and uh, for uh, register for the election and people vote you if you win you know that you're speaking directly for the people because whether you like it or not this party is made up of different people with different interests and ideology when they come together they see their interests as you know superseding that of the ordinary people mm -hmm. and their rules applies Senator Ndumi before he became Senator, before he became a member of the party, signed the party register and I know he, he read all through the, the, the rules and regulations, the do's and the don'ts. So for him to have gone publicly, you know, to say something that could incite the people against the government that mm -hmm. he's also a member, on that note the party had to sanction him. I'm not against that. So that was a fair Even here where party. you walk, I'm sure there are internal rules and regulations, mm -hmm. things you must not do. I have been you know, a member of an organization where I uh, went outside the organization, even though I was not permitted to speak, you know, based on it was something that was happening in the country as at, the, as at that time, I went and spoke out of tongues, and I was penalized for it because I signed, you know, to be a member of the organization. It's all over, even here where you work. So for me, the most important thing is that they have made up. Alain Dumesini to have realized that he made a mistake to have spoken out of tongues, Without, mm -hmm. you know, the, the party have an organ, they have a means to air your view mm -hmm. and all yes. of that. He bypassed that, went straight to speak to Nigerian and international community, which could affect the government. So mm -hmm. they disciplined him by calling the Senate president to recall, or rather to, you know, step him down from the position in which he was. So, but today, they have also written to the National Assembly, Senator Gossi to the reconsider Senate his position. To see how they can reconcile his position. It can be done. That, that, what that shows is that the party, still retains some level of uh, authority over of you know, the elected officials. Mm. Now, um, like I asked earlier, George, probably you didn't look at that. I was looking at the timing yeah. of this reconciliation with what is playing out in the North. And when you consider that 
Senator Lin Dume is a man with influence and large following in the north. You recall that when Alin Dume was removed, some some set of people came yeah. to protest, yeah. you know, and there, there was silence. No, there was no answer. Then suddenly, without prodding at all, suddenly there is a meeting. I'm looking at the timing. Now, will Senator Alin Dume be able to bring his influence to bear to some extent, well, bring peace and sanity to the north? I, I think. Uh, it Do you answer, see that playing? Yeah, out? I think to answer that question is just to take you back to what happened within the APC presidential election. Okay. Because um, to an extent, even before the outcome, mm -hmm. you know, it, it was flying everywhere in the news that the APC has come together to have a consensus candidate mm -hmm. who happened to be the former senior president of the Ninth Assembly. But Aline Dume and a few others, including Aerofi and some of them, are mm -hmm. those from the North who stood up and said, no, we must fall by the constitution of the party and see him the power to the South. And Alin Dume has been a major uh, voice within the APC and as well within the North. Mm -hmm. He has always continued to stand firm as constant as the Shakespeare and Northern star, whose firmament has never been moved. He has always been very vocal. He has always continued to make sure that wherever he finds himself, that's the reason why if you look at even those same persons that you made mention, because I watched it on air, uh, when they came and they said, there is need for the Senate to reconsider that particular position. Because come to think of it, it was by their own calculation, whatever, something entitled, although I am still trying to find the mathematics whereby it was you know, enshrined in the constitution or the party constitution that a particular seat is zoned a particular location because I know that everybody has to contest it and all of that. But by and large, Alin Dume's timing of reconciliation will go a long way because if Alin Dume comes out now to come up publicly to speak on behalf of the government, I believe that will go a long in way to north. down the tension in the north and as well as continue to bring uh, peace. So you, you think know. this is a master stroke by uh, the APC? It's a master stroke by the APC. It's a master stroke by the APC. And I think as well that uh, Mr. President, in as much as this particular end has already been, you know, has started, Mr. President should look at the issues on ground, the economic bottleneck, mm. these issues, because if these issues also are not addressed, mm. believe me, this particular protest will degenerate to a level that Nigeria will no longer be comfortable for Just a few right. yes. seconds. Your final I want words. to say that, except Senator Len Dume has a hand in this as one of the sponsors of this protest. Mm -hmm. If not that, I don't see anything reconciling his position with what is happening in the North. What is happening there has actually gone beyond Senator Len Dume to come out to say, please, it's okay, stop, stop, and they will stop. People, both criminals have hijacked the process. Those who are sponsoring it keep you know, pushing what they are pushing to ensure that there is redemption. So, Reconciling and linking me to his position for me is just a way not to polarize the party further because mm. within the party he's you know very outspoken and he's very influential, but it has nothing to do with any uh, mm. bad governance uh, protest. It has nothing to do with that. And you don't see I don't, I don't think any headway at all. Those who are sponsoring it are not even considering him as you know part a of factor. it. No, 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 no. Uh, all right. Think. All right, thank you so much, Honorable Land, for coming on Open Conversation. Thank you, it was thank a pleasure you, Choma. You. Thank you, Nigeria. Thank you, George. It's always a pleasure having you, George. <laughs> Very eclectic conversation. <laughs>